Tip-off for that game is 7.05 Friday night. And Jonah, one big reason for the Lopes' success is thanks to guard Tyon Grant Foster. That's right, but the most remarkable part of Tyon's story is what he had to overcome off the court. Cronkite News reporter Diego Iniguez has more on the seniors' comeback. Tyon Grant Foster is helping GCU men's basketball achieve one of its best seasons in program history. This comes despite the recently named WAC Conference Player of the Year having not played a single game for nearly two years. His return to the court has surprised everyone except Tyon himself. I mean, it just felt real natural. I feel like, um, how can I put it? Like, I, would, I ain't been away from the game for two years. That's what it felt like. It felt real natural, and it just felt great to be back playing. It's a remarkable comeback considering what Grant Foster went through two years ago. In 2021, during halftime of his first game at DePaul, Tyon went into cardiac arrest with multiple shocks to the heart needed to help save his life. Several months later, Tyon was in St. Louis with his childhood friend, Christian Brown, when he went into another cardiac arrest. For Tyon, basketball would once again come to a halt. What you guys have seen, he's, you know, he's had his whole life. You know, at the Juco level, you know, at Kansas, he's always been so skilled and so talented. Um, you know, to see, um, you know, what he loved get taken away from him, obviously sad for all of us. In March of last year, however, Tyon was cleared to return to college basketball, and a month later, he joined GCU. He's such a, a you know, prolific scorer. Um, you know, we, we knew that he, you know, had some health issues in the past, and, you know, but he was an excellent player, and, um, you know, really thankful that he chose GCU, and he's able medically to get cleared, and um, has just had a fabulous year so far. The comeback season Grant Foster is having is not only leading to individual accolades, but it has been inspiring to others. I don't think there's, there's many people that can come back, um, you know, from what he went through um, and continue to, you know, chase it and chase it. Uh, to come back from, you know, being, you know, from being sick, uh, you know, coming back from that um, is, is amazing for any person. So it's amazing uh, for him to do that. Now more than anything, Tyon wants to focus on another challenge, taking GCU men's basketball to new heights, specifically wins in the big dance. It's going to feel amazing. We're, we're continuously creating history here, so that's what we're going to do. With all the challenges faced by the 24-year-old senior, it wouldn't be unexpected if Tyon helped GCU make even more history. In Phoenix, Diego Iniguez, Cronkite News.